Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today we're back on the Black Ops 4 beta, and uh, I wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks for winning more gunfights in the beta. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into some of these tips. So the first tip that I have for you guys is to anticipate enemy movements and expect enemies to be everywhere. Especially right now, this is a beta. No one really has a full understanding of how the maps are played. Most people don't even know the maps at all or know them that well. So uh, now is the time where you're going to see players in the most random spots and they're going to come around corners that you wouldn't expect them to. Uh, if you compare this to Black Ops 3, you know, a game that we've all played for a long time, we all have a complete understanding of how each and every map is played. We know where the choke points are. We know where all the objectives are. We know exactly where players are going to be. When it comes to a game that just came out, or in this case a beta, no one has a full understanding of the map. So everyone's kind of just running around and doing their own thing just experiencing the game they're not really trying to to play the map the way it's originally made for they're just testing it out so um, you want to expect enemies to be everywhere even in the most random spots you know I found myself a few times when I first started running in the complete opposite direction of the map like running to the outside of the map and not realizing that that's where I was going so uh, you want to anticipate these enemy movements and expect them to be everywhere because no one knows what's going on it's a beta the second tip that I have for you guys is to start shooting before aiming down sights. This is something that I've always recommended in Call of Duty games. Uh, Gung Ho is actually a perk that is back that's going to help you uh, follow through with that. Um, Gung Ho basically allows you to um, aim down sights while you're still sprinting. So that'll definitely help you win more gunfights. You'll get your aim down quicker and you'll be able to shoot. Um, but what you want to do is you want to start shooting before you start aiming down sights. Um, so many people tend to try to aim before they pull the trigger and, and I guess I can see how that can help but at the same time like if your enemy is shooting as they're aiming down sights and they manage to hit you with two or three bullets before they actually have their sights completely zoomed in they're most likely going to win the gunfight because they got the first shot off so that's something that you really want to pay attention to and always try to get that first shot off by shooting as you're aiming down sight or before you're aiming down sight most of the time, I kind of just run around and hit both triggers at the same time when someone when I run into someone. Uh, if they're really far away, obviously, it's probably not that good of an idea. But if you run around a corner and you bump into someone in your point-blank range, start shooting, start hip-firing before you aim down sight so that you can get those extra few bullets off. The third tip that I have for you guys is to use smart attachments. Uh, I think here in the beta, quick draw and stock are the two best attachments to run that are going to help you uh, win more gunfights. Quick draw obviously allows you to aim your your gun down quicker. Uh, so again, you know, back to what I was saying in the last tip, you're going to get your gun um, in, in position to shoot people much quicker if, than someone that's not using quick draw. And stock has always been something that I've also recommended playing throughout Call of Duty. I've always been a really big fan of it. I think it was probably more of a big deal in Black Ops 3 because you were able to boost jump and, and boost slide like 30 feet. So it was nice to be able to move your gun quickly while aiming down sight. Now it's not necessarily... Uh, I, would, I wouldn't say it's it's really needed um, as much as it was in Black Ops 3, but it's definitely something that once you get used to, you're not going to want to stray away from. Um, and, and like I just said, if for some reason you don't know what stock is, basically it allows you when you aim down sight, you can move around quicker. So um, that's something that I've always been a fan of, especially um, if people are, are running or trying to move or jump out of the way. Uh, but again, thankfully for, for Black Ops 4, there's not boost jumping. So that's something you won't have to worry about. The fourth and final tip that I have for you guys is to use movement to avoid gunfire, and that's kind of what I was just talking about. Uh, you want to jump shot and boost slide. Drop shotting, if you guys have tried it, drop shotting has um, kind of been fixed. They've, they've really found, a, I think, a really good way to counter drop shotting. You guys know, before we had all the, the advanced movement systems, the way to evade gunfire was to either jump, or to drop shot and that was always the way to go um, and now that we're back to a call of duty that's boots on the ground that's back to the play style so they've uh, they've counter drop shotting by when you go to lay down if you're shooting basically you stop aiming down sight and you hold the gun in one hand and then a few seconds after you lay down then you can aim down sight again so um, you can't just go from standing to prone and, and and be able to aim down sight the whole time so that's something that they've done to counter the drop shot um, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but jump shotting for sure is going to be back. Expect that, especially with the pros. And, uh, and boost sliding is another really good way to evade gunfire, especially if you're running away and someone's shooting you in the back. Just constantly hit that boost slide in random directions, zigzag, and you'll be able to get out of the way. But uh, anyway, guys, that's really the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have any comments, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys want to chat, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram at Dylan Farrell. Make, make sure to leave links in the description below as well. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next. Peace.